if we're able to kind of predict when people are resigning, what can we do about it? So that's a very, very good question. Uh, first thing is actually when you tell um, um, the CHRO, you know, head of uh, HR or a CEO, you tell them, well, I can't, you know, there's a, this person wants to resign. Usually their first question is, is that good news or bad news? Uh, some people you actually want to resign, uh, it's cleaning up your organization. But the fact is a lot of the people who resign, the people you lose, uh, these are the people that find it easy to find different jobs or with different companies. It tends to suggest they're critical to you. Uh, and if they're critical to you, they're probably critical to your competition. We're using the same skills. So first thing is it's cool when you have an indication, an early warning system that tells you in advance that someone is likely to resign. And depending on how early you get the signal, then you have you may have some impact. What do we know about resignation? We know now we've been running lots of things. So we know 90% of cases people decide during the holiday. So my personal interpretation, they go by the swimming pool, they drink mojitos, and at the end of the day, they say, I hate my job, I want to get something else. That's the process. 90% of people decide to resign over the holidays. <laughs> then they come when they come back and then they start the process. So how do you start the process? Well, you go on LinkedIn, you start looking, then you change your picture on LinkedIn and then you start calling friends and relationships and, you know, uh, you, you get your, you know, get outside in the marketplace, you talk to people, that's what you do. As you do all this, your patterns, obviously your internal communication patterns are changing. They're not changing for the human eye but the machine detects those changes. Now comes a time where, when the decision of resigning is so crystallized, you can't do anything about it, it's too late. You know, typically when someone comes to you and say, I quit, it's way too late. And people try to say, yeah, but I'll increase your salary by 20, 30%. Very often it makes people even angrier because they said, well, you should have done that a year ago when I told you, you did not, you told me you had no money. And now I tell you I'm quitting. And now suddenly, miraculously, you find 30%. It's even worse. So if you have the, we know that you need to know in advance, you need to get a sense of the reason, is that a bad boss or a bad compensation? And then you're able to play with it. You're able to change the factors and hopefully keep the person if that person is important to you. It's also bad for the person. I don't know if you have ever been in a position where you, you change job and you resign. It's painful, it's traumatic, especially if you change because you're not happy. And the, the, the trauma, it represents a significance. So if we can avoid this trauma, this is good for the company, good for the employees.